here we're x to find f minus g of x, so we're simply going to be subtracting the two functions. So um, one of the biggest things that you need to watch out for when you are subtracting polynomials is to remember that because the second group has a negative in front of it, when you subtract one group from the other, this group g of x, because they have that subtraction sign or that negative in front of it, everyone in that group must be changed to their opposite. So that will become positive 3x squared, positive 6x minus 1. Now you will not change the signs of the group in front because they do not have a negative sign in front of it. So now that you have all your terms there together, you want to combine again your like terms, combining the squared terms, so a 1 uh, with the 3, that's going to give me a leading term of 4x squared. For my middle term, a negative 3 with a positive 6 is going to give me positive 3x. And then for the last term, combining a positive 6 with a negative 1 is going to give me positive 5. And there you have it. The answer is 4x squared plus 3x plus 5.